Hey everyone and welcome to the final weight loss Wednesday of 2021. I'm Chef AJ, the author of Unprocessed, The Secrets to Ultimate Weight Loss and Own Your Health. And this is where I show you recipes for healthy, permanent, and sustainable weight loss. So today I'm going to show you a really easy and delicious recipe. It's my new version of stuffed mushrooms. If you've followed me over the years, you know I have a book called Unprocessed that's actually being published for the 10th anniversary edition next year where we updated a lot of the recipes because a lot of them were really high in fat and we've added color photos and things like that. I have a recipe in Unprocess that's always a fan favorite whenever I teach hands-on cooking anywhere, especially at Rancho La Puerta. People love that because it's filled with a mixture of pine nuts and miso, which is delicious, but it's high in fat and high in salt and kind of hyper palatable. But I came up with a low fat version actually quite by accident. So last week was my husband's birthday and I made this appetizer that I love. The recipe is on this page. It's for my creamy spinach artichoke cheese. It's not really cheese dip, which I love. It's a hot dip that we serve with, you can serve it with chips, vegetables, things like that. So we made it and then we had eaten all the things that you dip it in. And I'm like, well, what am I gonna do with this? The leftover, and I thought, well, maybe I could spiralize some sweet potatoes or butternut squash or zucchini and heat it up as pasta sauce or put it on a potato. And then I had the idea, stuffed mushrooms, and it came out amazing. So easy to make. So this is leftover spinach artichoke cheese dip. The recipe is on my page if you want a low fat SOS free version, or you could use you know, any recipe that you like and then mushrooms. So when I'm making stuffed mushrooms, I don't buy them in a package. I actually look for the biggest ones I can find. I don't want to do portobello. It's just too much filling. So these are the criminy. You can use white, but I look for the biggest ones I can find. And mushrooms, you don't want to wash really because you, you know, they absorb everything. So you just kind of clean them with a mushroom brush. And then you take out the stem and you can save this and do other things with it. So you just kind of pop them out. That's the first thing. Oop, try not to break it just like I did there. Be a little bit more careful. And then what you want to do is scrape a little bit so you have a little bit more room. And so this one is exactly what I didn't want to do was to break it. But what you do is you just take a small spoon and you kind of go around just to have more surface area so that you have more room for whatever your filling is. So like again, you don't want to go too deep and break it, but you want to create, you can see that little hole wouldn't hold much. So I just kind of go around and just kind of clean off the edges just because we, the filling is really the best part. I am not a fan of mushrooms in general, but I do like them when they're stuffed. So you just kind of go like that. And some, of course, will be a little bit bigger than others. Just try to get them close to the same size. So you can get, you can go a little bit deeper, but try not to break the edges. And I mean, you could stuff a portobello. It just, I think it'd be a lot of filling. So I actually, the first time I made these, I ate all six of them. They were so good. And I was so hungry, but really all it is is vegetables because the filling in my artichoke cheese dip is really just cauliflower and spinach. So nothing bad in there. There we go. You can save these for scraps if you make your own vegetable broth. So just do that. There we go. It doesn't have to be perfect. You're just trying to get more room for the filling. So there I've got my mushrooms. And then I'm going to take my dip and I'm going to fill it. Each one, you remember, you can always add and top it off and make it rounded on top if you have more filling. But you want to make sure that each one at least has adequate filling. I actually had so much of this dip, I froze it and I wasn't sure it would freeze well, but it did. It was fantastic. You couldn't even tell it was frozen. So with a little one, I can top it off a little bit. And this big one, just add a little bit more. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to sprinkle some faux parmesan on it. Faux parmesan is one of my toppings. I have two versions, a high fat version and unprocessed with walnuts and a low fat version in the secrets to ultimate weight loss made from oats. And this is just my rendition of a Parmesan sprinkle. And the reason I'm doing that is so it'll kind of resemble breadcrumbs, which 
very often stuffed mushrooms have on top of them. And then they'll kind of make it nice because I'm going to put these in the air fryer because it takes less time than if I were to bake them and it gets them a little more crispy. So got my faux parmesan and then I'm going to just do a little bit of smoked paprika for color on top and also flavor. Smoked paprika is my favorite spice when you don't eat salt. It's a really, really yummy spice. And then I'm just going to pop them in the air fryer. I normally use the Breville, but I can't bring it over here to show you. And for small jobs like this, this little go wise is just fine. So I'm just gonna put them in the basket with a little bit of room in between each one. And I never read the books that come with things. So I just have this rule. I just do everything for 20 minutes at 400. Hope for the best. If it needs more time, then I add more time. So I'm putting it up to 20 minutes, putting it up to 400. I'm gonna push the button and then I'm gonna come back in 20 minutes and show you what it looks like when it's done. Four five tells you when it's ready so there we have it in 20 minutes the whole house smells amazing so i'm just going to take it out of the air fryer they're nice and hot a little bit crispy on top so good it's like a little party in your mouth so if you have the breville you can make a lot more of these so but for small jobs, this one is perfect. And then you can eat them just like this. They'd be delicious. I actually ate them cold once and they were still pretty good, but they're even better warm. You can eat them like this, or what I like to do is drizzle your favorite California balsamic. I'm using smoked hickory, just a little bit like this over the top. Makes it even more delicious so this would be a great thing for new year's eve or an hors d'oeuvre or appetizer anytime i wish you and yours a very happy <laughs> happy i couldn't decide if i should say happy or healthy first happy and healthy and prosperous new year and i'm chef aj thanks so much for watching i truly believe you can have both the health and the body that you so richly deserve happy new year everyone